Okay, let's talk about SAS mix-ins. This is a really powerful feature that we have access to in SAS. It's the ability to write little pieces of a CSS that we're going to reuse throughout the rest of our file. So I've got uh, a basic file set up here. I've got a bunch of variables. I've got a CSS selector for my paragraphs, and then I've got a couple of classes that I want to add. So there's going to be an animation that I put on here for when something happens, I'm going to add the class leave to a paragraph, I'm going to make it disappear from the page, and then the class arrive is going to make it come back onto the page. So I want to find an efficient way to do this with SAS using mixins. So let's say inside of the paragraph, first of all, I want to set up a few font properties. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I know I want to use a mixin. I'm going to call it fonts. So I'm defining this little area up here. This is the name of my mixin. Down here to use it, I would say at include fonts. That's all it takes to create one and use it. So at mixin, you give it a name, and then wherever you want to use it, you put at include and then the name. And you can use this as many times as you want. I could use this again and again and again throughout other classes, other selectors throughout my CSS saves me a lot of time, especially if this is a whole bunch of CSS. All right, so let's remove those couple. I'm only going to put this inside of here. Inside of here, everything that I write. So mixins are similar to functions, but they don't just have one return value. It's everything that I write inside the mixin is going to be written out wherever I put the include. So I'm going to use uh, a feature of nesting where if I'm using a bunch of properties that start with the word font, like font size, font weight, font family, I can create a little group of them like this. So I'm going to say font size. I'm going to use my small size from up here. So I'm using variables as well as this nesting, which allows me to work with hyphenated properties. So there's the font size showing up in my paragraph because I included this mix in. Uh, let's do weight 500 and family. So this is font family that I'm creating, and I'm going to make it the variable sans. Okay, so there's my paragraph defined. Now what I want to do is I'm going to set up some default properties for um, opacity and transform scale. Those are going to be the things that I change. So I'm going to set up some default values. So I'll create another mixin, show you another way that we can do this, and I'm going to call it transit props. So these are going to be the properties that I pass in, the things that I'm changing, the opacity and the scale. When you create a mixin, up here you see I didn't put any parentheses, here I did. If you add them, it allows you to pass values in here. So I could customize this if I was to parentheses here, I could pass a value in to use as the font weight. Here, I'm going to pass in some sort of value, and I'm writing out opacity, it's going to be value, and I'm going to put in here that the transform, transform, spell it correctly, scale is going to be that as well. So if opacity is 1, and scale is going to be 1. If opacity is 0, scale is going to be 0. So if I pass a 0, these are both 0. If I pass in a 1, these are both going to be 1. So this is my, going to be my default settings. At include transit props, and I'm going to pass in a 1 to start with. There we are. So here's my default paragraph. Now, when I add this class, I want to put it back to these settings. When I'm taking it off the page, I want this, but I'm going to change that to a zero. There. So if I add the class zero, or sorry, if I add the class leave, I'm setting these values to zero. If I set it to one, I'm putting them back to one. And my default when the page starts is one for both of them. Great. So I have those set up. Now the animation itself. Mix in, I'm just going to call it transit. And I'm going to show you one other way that you can write the properties here. If you're going to be passing in a value, you could put a variable here, just like we did for val. However, if you're passing in 
the value that includes a comma. So I'm going to be passing in some settings for a transition that could have multiple values. So I'm going to do it like this so that all the values get passed in. At include transit. And then what I'm passing in is going to be opacity. That's going to take 0 0.5 seconds, comma, transform. It's going to take 0 0.4 seconds. So I'm passing in all of this, really two values, because there's a comma between them. I have to put the three periods here, and this is going to spread it apart, and it's going to take the whole value. And I can then come in and write my WebKit transition to handle those older browsers and just transition for all the recent ones. There we are. So this mix-in adds these two lines of CSS. So these two, my prefixed and non-prefixed versions. My transit props adds those two, and I'm using this one three times. Once here, once here, once here. And then we have fonts being used in the first three lines right here. And that's it. Those are mix-ins. That's how you use them. And this is a way that you get a tremendous amount of reusability through your CSS generated by your SAS. Okay, so I hope that helps you out. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you found it useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.